hi everyone today i will guide you through using the winexpo software for face identification and many more so let's get started so you need to begin with the two column xid data with one column for two theta values and the other for intensity we need to convert this data file into raw format or you can also convert it into peak format because when expo software support only raw and peak files for phase identification purpose if you have dropped your host compound with any cation so in order to compare those data files you can go to the graphics and you can plot them uh, together and then you can compare whether there is any peak shift towards lower two theta angles or higher two theta angles which depends on the ion gradii of the constituents so in this way you can compare all those xrd patterns for phase identification you need to go to the phase analysis section then open your xrd data file okay then go to the select elements and then here you will choose different elements which are the constituents of your phase exclude other atoms and here all the different combinations of these constituents will be listed and you have to choose the correct one and they it may be compared with your xrd pattern in this way there are some other cards as well which don't which do not belong to your sample so you may skip it but you can note the pdf card number in another way you can also uh, search your desired file directly by selecting the text search option here you need to enter the exact formula of your compound it will filter out just only the specific phase of your material like in this case I have searched for barium titanate here different uh, PDF cards are listed here and most of them are different from each other because barium titanate has different crystal structures at different temperature but you have to compare it with your required phase for example if you have collected your data at room temperature so at room temperature barium titanate has a tetragonal structure and it will be matched with that specific card number in parallel you may also open the card details like here i have opened that file here you can see that copper radiations has been used to collect this data uh, similarly it has a tetragonal structure given here this is the space group and these are the latest parameters of this compounds here at the bottom the different planes are given uh, here the dx term is denotes actually the theoretical density of our material another way is to convert your xrd data file into peak format it is helpful to automatically search your desired phase so you may follow these steps after automatic search here we can see a list of different combinations or a list of different cards for example the first card is for barium ferrite so if we look into this card so it is well matched with the barium titanate so actually barium titanate and barium ferrite have similar crystal structures that is tetragonal so that is why they their diffraction patterns are similar Thank you.